Want to increase the strength of your engine block without spending any money? Find out how right now. All right, we have a customer 4AGE out of a 886 Toyota Corolla. This is the earliest variant dubbed the three rib because of these one, two, three ribs. The later model block will actually have seven ribs. But one thing I like to do on all my rebuilds is remove the casting flash and chamfer the oiling holes on the engine block. This blew my mind back in the day when I found out that you could strengthen the engine block by actually removing material from it. Here's what I'm talking about. So right there is a great example of casting flash. So when this cast iron engine block is casted, sometimes during that casting process, you have extra stuff that's just a byproduct of the casting process. So why is casting flash harmful? It can get broken off and cause damage into your engine. Imagine that's just like a solid chunk of metal running around in your engine. It impedes oil flow, either for the pressure or the return side. There's a great example right there for the oil returns. You can see on the right side, all that casting flash that would impede the oil from returning back to the sump. And you can see there's actually a huge overhang of casting flash on the right side. I know for some components, people will actually deburr part of the machine surface just to make it smooth and easier to handle. Casting flash is also an easy place for a potential crack to propagate. So if you imagine our piece of casting flash may break off and it's not gonna break off in a straight line, all those jagged edges in this casting flash are a potential place or a stress riser for a crack to form. All right, so chamfering the oil holes, you can see we have one return hole right there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna chamfer that hole and just like a velocity stack, the principles of air and water are similar. They much easier flow through a radius inlet or outlet versus a straight outlet like that. We can promote the oil return and oil flow in this engine block. Chamfering the oil holes, I'm gonna do that guy. I'm gonna open up that guy, open up that guy. One more inside the crankcase, you can see how important this is. And then the last one's actually right there for the oil filter. And this will only help us with improving the oil flow of this block. So fortunately, you only need a few simple tools to deburr the block and also chamfer the oil holes. Got a selection of punches and chisels, got my hammer. Air die grinder, electric die grinder is fine. And then I have a selection of carbide burrs. So at the minimum, I like to use this pointed one and then one of these circle ones. Alternative to this circle one is a circular grinding stone. Particularly, I use the circle ones to chamfer the oiling holes. This is the rest of the stuff for that customer build. And you can see not only applicable for the engine block, but also the cylinder head. Again, to reduce possibility of damage, improve oiling, all the above, remove the casting flash out of all these galleys. And this is only gonna help us by improving oil flow, making the cylinder head stronger and preventing that excess casting flash from ending up running around the engine and potentially causing something catastrophic. All right, so to get started, I'm going to use my selection of punches and chisels. And basically, you want to punch off as much of that casting flash as you can before we go to the die grinder. I like to use the biggest punch possible when punching off the casting flash. These chisels I like because if there's like a straight surface or a 90 degree area, these chisels are great to knock off the casting flash on a flat surface. So you don't have to go crazy with this. I know this is just gonna be a street car for the customer, but in case this is a performance build, you can actually smooth out inside of the crankcase. If you notice this cast iron's porous, so oil's gonna naturally wanna stick to the walls. We don't want oil on the walls, we want it all in the oil pan. So in the case that you're doing a performance build, you can actually knock off all the casting flash and actually smooth out all these walls so that oil's wanting to go straight to the oil pan and not stick to the walls. I've already removed a lot of this big stuff, but this flat surface is exactly what I like to use this uh, flat chisel for. So again, I've already knocked off a lot of this, but just to show you how I do it. And again, we're knocking off this big stuff first and then going in with our die grinder afterwards. You probably heard that big chunk fall on the floor. I'm just gonna look around, make sure all this big stuff is knocked off. So to get to those two oil returns, I'm gonna flip the block this way so it's easier for all of us to see. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much of that casting flash is in there and it'll make sense to you guys why we're trying to get all of it out. All right, so this piece that I'm gonna show you immediately when I disassembled this block, this is the piece where I was like, yep, we're definitely going to deburr this block and I'll show you guys right now, right in there. 
that whole piece is just casting flash garbage. Now, imagine this engine block as the engine runs and is revved, it twists, it moves, it expands, contracts with heat. Imagine this could fall off and end up in your engine. Exactly why we're trying to get all this stuff out. I'm just gonna naturally work. All right, just uh, roughly hitting it, you can see it already made a huge difference. Um, if we look down there, that's all the garbage we hit out. Um, I would recommend you doing this before you send this to the machine shop. We're actually going oversized on the bores. So, you know, let's just say in case you're not doing any machine work, I'd actually clean and tape off all the bores. So, this stuff doesn't end up messing up the cylinder walls. All right, so yeah, we'll continue on that other oil return hole. B-roll shooting there, make sure you can see it clearly. Yeah, make sure that thing, there we go, focus in there. All right, so again, very basic work, but you can see already how much better that oil return hole looks now that we've cleaned up all the casting flash. Next step, I'm gonna get my die grinder and grind out all the remaining bits. I'm gonna get to work and we'll come back right after that. Just showing you guys, this is the oil return from the cylinder head and it goes down into the block. We saw on the underside that we're most full of the casting flash. Oil filter boss on the block, you can see the slight chamfer in that oil return hole. If you had a grinding stone that was a hair bigger than that ID, you could just basically kiss the end of it and it would be good enough to leave a chamfer. Otherwise, I have this carbide bit and basically you just go in a circle and manually leave that chamfer. Let's take a look at the underside. Chamfer on that guy, chamfer on the front oil return, and then you can see the biggest difference in those two main oil return holes from the cylinder head. 